No okay. intro. No intro. Uh, 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 no intro. My name is Mabel. And I'm Ariana. And we're watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Bam. Season 1, Episode 3. 3. 3. <laughs> the rain's like making a tear on his... So like, what happened to Dad? He just like rode off into the sunset? Didn't come back for the funeral? Oh, like all dads. <laughs> Went out for some cigarettes and never came back? What do you what do you go out for in milk? It's usually a gallon of milk or yeah, some cigarettes. What do, you, what do you go out for in 1903? Yeah. Well, the mom in the beginning said, um, "You really you take after your father." So I'm assuming if he he was probably a talented alchemist, and they're talking. And while he didn't obviously didn't actually lose his limbs in the battle, Ed definitely harbors some negative feelings. Called him a bastard. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. God's children who live upon this land, those who have lost their way, the sun god Leto shall shine. That's what my message looks like. <laughs> Seriously, do we look like street performers to you? Yes, why ask? <laughs> Let's go, Al. Oh. <gasps> Easy, I didn't mean nothing by it. Okay, here he goes. Oh, wow. Wow. How's that? You've been touched by the sun god, just like Father Cornello. It's not a miracle. It's alchemy. Oh, so you two are alchemists. Right, I've heard of them. The full metal alchemist, Edward Elric. Is that right? Full metal. No, it's not me. Huh? What? You mean it's the little guy then? <laughs> Complex. <laughs> He's crazy. What's with this guy on the radio? That, that's our leader, Father Cornello. We were lost until he came to town and began teaching us all the ways of the sun god Leto. Oh, so a cult. Life to Sick. The faithful. He can even I love a cult. Dead. So this guy's claiming he can bring the dead back to life? Now that's something I gotta see. <laughs> Somehow he's ignoring the law of equivalent exchange. He should have only been able to transmute that flower into an object of equal mass. And he's changing organic matter into inorganic matter. Yeah, there's just one way. That stone. That's the stone. Which that must have been what like fizzled away when the other yeah, guy died. Yeah, it looked like a marble. Yeah, yes. and it like rolled out of his blood. And... I beg you, just, just, please bring him back. Yeah. So this oh my gosh, it's kind of what my hair looked Lito. like before. Welcome. Are you interested in Letoism? Nope, can't say I am. Not really the religious. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to hear that. If you believed, I'm sure Lita would bless you and make you grow taller. Wow. Is oh oh just God. trying to help? What about bringing the dead back to life? Do you believe that's possible too? Yes. No. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 200 and very Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Elements. <gasps> That list represents the complete chemical makeup of the human body for the average adult. There's never been one reported case of successfully creating a human life. You're telling me something modern science can't do, you can do with prayer? You have to understand, alchemists are scientists. We don't believe in unprovable concepts like creators or gods. We observe the physical laws that govern this world to try to learn the truth. It's ironic, really. That through the application of science, we have in many ways been given the power to play gods ourselves. So you're putting yourself on the same level as God? That's just sheer arrogance. You know, there's an old myth about a hero who flew on wings made of wax. He thought he could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings melted and he came crashing back down to Earth. Right, Al? Brother. But do you think your father, Cornello, could even save an arrogant scientist like me? Of course, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. If anyone can lead you to the creator's light, he can. Child and a man wearing a suit of armor. They would only give their names as the Elric brothers. You're sure that's what they said? You're positive? Yes, father. That's what they call themselves. No mistake. But why would a state alchemist be here in Lior? Surely they can't have found out about our plans. It's possible this dog's nose is too sharp for his own good. Yikes. Okay, so they're doing something weird. Mm -hmm. Easy man. As you can imagine, he's decided to spare a moment for you. Yeah, thanks. We understand. We won't take too much of his time. Good, then it's agreed. We'll make this quick. Oh, he's gonna kill him. 
Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're doing? Rose, these heathens have come to ensnare and discredit the father. Mm -hmm. They're evil. Well, like you said, let's make this quick. <laughs> Damn. What's <laughs> this commotion? Ah, the Full Metal Alchemist. Welcome to the home of our sacred order. I must apologize for my disciples' behavior. Yeah, okay. Been like you didn't order it. Hey, let's say I believe you weren't the one guy. Yeah. What next? There are a few things I'm curious about. Like how you've been using second-rate alchemy to deceive your followers. My dear boy, I don't know what you mean. What you're doubting I see as alchemy are the miracles of the sun god Leto. Look again. Could mere alchemy create something from nothing in this way? How can you perform transmutations that ignore the law of equivalent exchange? As I said, because it isn't alchemy. Then I started thinking about it. If you'd somehow managed to acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy, one that's said to make the impossible possible, that would explain everything. Steal his ring! I'm talking about the Philosopher's Stone. I've been looking for that. The ring is just a ring. Then Still give me your that ring. Line, huh? If that's the way you want to play it, I guess I'll have to come up there and beat some truth out of you. Rose, dear. Yes, Father? That gun there beside you, pick it up. Now, child, I want you to shoot the full metal alchemist. Wow, you trash bag. No, I, Father, I can't do that. I am the sun god's chosen emissary. My word is the word of Leto himself. Shoot him, Rose. It's God's will. Shoot him, Rose. It's God's will because I say so. It's God's will. When you lost your fiance to that tragic accident last year, who was it that saved you from the very depths of despair? It was you, Father. That's right. It was I who took. Oh yeah, he's a dark man. Light. And do you recall what it was? What light? To yeah, look, they Set killed his eyes there. Bring it back to life. No, no, wait. It's not me, honest. Damn it! I'm the full metal alchemist. It's not. <laughs> it's me. It's the short one. He's been lying to you, Rose. You're wrong. I've seen his miracles. Father Cornella will bring him back to life. I have faith. He should have already brought him back to life mm -hmm. if he could have. <gasps> Ow. Good, God Leto is pleased you have done well, my child. Good, God Leto. Shoot the other as well. Haven't you made her do enough already? Mm-hmm. Surprise! Were... Don't worry about it, he's pretty solid. Yeah, see? No one does. This unholy thing is an abomination. Evil of this kind must be purged! Oh my god. The lion. Leave my chimera should be chimera. Anyway, looks like I'll need a weapon. No transmutation circle. <laughs> oh, mirrors don't match for chimera claws that tear through wire. <laughs> you shredded my pants. <gasps> mm. But I guess those claws don't do so good against steel. I'd have your stupid bee. You like that kitty? Go on. Get a good taste. Dang. This is me wrestling my cat at 3 a.m. Except I don't have a steel arm and he just rips me to shreds. You did it, didn't you? The one thing even the most novice alchemist knows is strictly forbidden. Why don't you come down here and try me? I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Love how he, he's like the re the religious one, but Cornello doesn't say the ultimate sin. It's perfect. Yeah. He should have said it. These fools attempted human transmutation, the greatest taboo for any alchemist. In their arrogance, they tried to bring someone dead back to life. Yep, you just gave yourself away, you asshole. This is what happens when you try to play God or whatever you want to call it. You're just a phony that can't do anything without a philosopher's stone. Father, we just want you to hand over the stone before you get hurt. Why? So you could use it for yourself? Please. If you fools are really so eager to play God, then perhaps I should send you to beat him instead. Wow. This Jeez. is crazy. Yeah. Huh? Me and God, we don't get along too well. Even if I went, he'd probably just send me right back here. Literally met God, mm -hmm. so... Way. Oh my god, what's about to happen? Something crazy. Created a door. Well, don't just stand there after them. They Why? Didn't seek to harm the order. No, they don't. Oh, gosh, That's Colts. They're all the same. Do, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Whoa, that is crazy. 
Good boys. What do you think of Cornello now, Rose? He just opened fire. He didn't care that you were in the way. But that's because what he said back there is true, isn't it? All we wanted was to see our mom smile again, but our transmutation failed. Yeah, it's so scary. Wasn't even human. People don't come back from the dead. Not ever. Alchemy is based on the law of equivalent exchange. The price of even a failed human transmutation was enormous. It cost my brother his left leg, and it cost me my whole body. My brother drew that with his own blood. His leg had been taken. He was bleeding. I can't imagine the pain he was in. But he still gave up his right arm to transmute my soul. Okay. He followed me to this suit of armor. Yeah. I love that we're getting explanations so fast. And get his body back to the way it was. He wants to find a way to get me back to normal too. He said he could do it. He promised me. Just because you and your brother failed, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean he will. There you are, you infernal brat. Look, can we just cut the crap and talk here? Tell me what I need to know, and I'll be on my way. Or we could get the military involved. Uh. <sighs> Ask her questions. So why waste all that power performing phony miracles? Because with each miracle, I can attract new believers to the order. Believers who would lay down their lives for my sake. I'm slowly building an army. A legion of holy warriors <laughs> unafraid to die. In a few more years... He's so unamused. ...minus horde upon the world. It looks like it's so boring to him. He's like, okay. You really are a novice, aren't you? <laughs> there were never any miracles, Rose. He lied to you. He lied to everyone. Put that on mm -hmm. speaker. Why, you? Your believers heard every word. How could you? You paid dearly for this. Sorry, not today. Just face it. You're outclassed here. Oh, dang. Go off. It's his fire in his laser beam. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a rebound. No, I won't be disgraced like Oh, this. no. Now, boy, behold, the chosen emissary of the sun god Leto. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hot dang. Oh, my God. Yikes. He's lost it. Oh. My word is the combined word of God himself. My fist is the almighty fist of judgment. Oh, yeah. Fist of God, huh? Well, if that's what you want, you can have it. <gasps> oh, my God. That's so cool. Oh. Just give me the philosopher's stone. And it's dead. He overused it. Mm -hmm. What the hell? It's supposed to be perfect material. How did it just break? Maybe like someone's out there making fakes. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Spare me, please. I was wrong. Please, I beg you. It's a damn fake. I mean, we went through all this, risked our lives for this one possible chance, and it's a fake. Mm. So, uh, hmm. I don't care what you do, just get out of here! So is someone making knockoffs? Making, like, harnessing, like, some power? Yeah. They're using alchemy to make a fake. Thought we'd really found a way to get your body back. Give me the Philosopher's Stone! Rose. Like I was Bitch, they don't even f***ing have it! Oh my god. And besides... Shattered now. Why are you, just... you want to keep it for yourself, don't you? So uh... Your bodies. That's right. And so you can try to bring your mother back again. You shut up. Oh, good lord. People don't come back from the dead, Rose. You said if I prayed, it would happen. I know it's really sad, oh, Rose. All I had left. What am I supposed to believe in now? I can't tell you that. You yeah. have to figure it out. Stand up and walk. Keep moving forward. Okay, so she'll either evolve from this, or it's gonna be a problem later. Oh, wow. Angry mob. Angry mob. That damn brat. It's all ruined. Everything I worked for. Yes, all that hard work for nothing. Oh, I forgot. Just inside of a little rebellion. Well, 
You. That's interesting, because he called... Relax, can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. We don't want you giving yourself indigestion. No, interesting. No, everyone has mocked me. I won't stand for... <gasps> oh, wow. I'd say this concludes our business. Oh my interesting. god. Interesting. I'm gonna cosplay as this lady. I already know it. Promising too. Father won't be pleased. In any case, it's time we started thinking about our next move. He's gonna eat him. Yeah, he's gluttony. Ooh, so definitely remember that symbol. That means something. That means something. Something. Something okay. going on with that symbol. And I think, I mean, the caption said. I know they. He, uh, you choo share choo, your thoughts choo before choo. I can. What did the train say? Chugga chugga. Chugga chugga choo. I'm supposed to chugga chugga choo. I've never understood why they say trains sound like that because I don't think trains sound like that. Really? Do you think they do? Like starting up that piece, but when it was going, it doesn't sound like that. And never mind. Yeah, that, on the irrelevant. screen there, it didn't sound like that. But yeah. I could see like, and then when they choo choo. Woo -woo. Which really is like, Wah! instead, but that's all right. <laughs> and we have bright futures as voice actors. Um, so I know in the first episode, not the first episode, but where we saw her. No, it was the first episode. He, she called him gluttony. Yes, we got like a peek of her. And then he's trying to eat him and called him gluttony again. So that symbol was. And then she said, "Father, father will be mad." So there's something more than her. Yeah, she's not the all power bad one. No, but her fucking gloves are dope. Yeah, I don't. That was fire. I'm terrified. And she's got like the vintage Hollywood mm -hmm. glam waves. Some weird, scary tattoo. I think Gluttony's was on his tongue. Gluttony's was on his tongue. Hers is. I wonder if it's like the on mark, like how, you know, Al's marks on the inside of the armor. Right. I wonder if that mark means something on them. Yeah, like are they wielding something through them? Yeah. Because of that? Don't know. I like it. I do too. I'm having a lot of fun. It's I can't really wait to fun. watch episode four, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a great time, guys, on this Adventure. Adventure. Watching the Elric brothers. Also, I just love Al's voice. Yeah. It's just like he was explaining it to Rose and it was just so cute. Yeah. Like I feel bad for Rose. Um, but it's like he basically was like seeing himself like in her mm -hmm. except he took like it into his own hands and him and his brother yeah. at attempted what she was hoping somebody else would do for her. Yeah. So yeah. Well, woo. It's, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching with us, and we will catch you on the next one. See you guys.